Here's another example, this time for continuous random variables x1, x2, and x3. Find the probability that x1 is less than x2 is less than x3 for x1, x2, and x3 with joint probability density function f of x1, x2, x3 equals 1 for x1 between 0 and 1, x2 between 0 and 1, and x3 between 0 and 1. If you look at the support script A, if you send x1 along this axis, x2 along this axis, and x3 along this axis, you'll notice that this is, script A is the unit cube. So that looks something like that. And we are interested in the probability x1 is less than x2 is less than x3. Now intuitively, there are six different orderings for x1, x2, and x3. And we are just picking off one of those six orderings. The orderings are 1, 2, 3, 1, 3, 2, 2, 1, 3, 2, 3, 1, 3, 1, 2, and 3, 2, 1. So those are the six. So intuitively, one of those should not have any greater probability than another. So intuitively, this answer should be 1 sixth. And in fact, it is 1 sixth. But if you want to see the uh, triple integral that's required to calculate the probability of this occurring, and that is if you had anything other than the uniform distribution here, right? Equally likely over the unit cube, if you had anything more complicated, you would have to do this using the triple integral. So it's, it's a good exercise to set it up. So we will have a triple integral here. And it will be the triple integral of 1. We'll go dx3, dx2, dx1. Now the area where x1 is less than x2 is less than x3, we can at least draw in the x1, x2 plane what that looks like, x1 and x2. We know that this is the area of interest. This is where x1 is smaller than x2. So you will have strips that run this is an integration strip right here. The uh, lower limit here will be x2 equals x1. I'll go ahead and write that in. x2 equals x1 all the way up to the upper curve x2 equals 1. So as we're setting up our uh, triple integral, x3 will run from x2 up to 1. That's for x3. Now for x2, x2 will go from x1, which is the lower curve, up to 1. And finally, these strips start at x1 equals 0, and they go up to x1 equals 1. So this will go from 0 to 1. If you work out that triple integral, you will get 1 sixth.